So the question I'd like to look at is, is why? Now, another interesting characteristic of this <coughs> is that different cultures tend to always depict Christ as one of their own. So if you go to China, you see Chinese-looking Christ. And, and our Western Christ is, in fact, uh, as much culturally dependent on our Western conceptions as is you know, Middle Eastern or Oriental versions. So, so to show you some of the alternatives, we'll take a look at uh, the way Christ was depicted in missionary tracts in, in China in the 18th and 19th, or 19th and 20th century. Now here you can see quite clearly uh, Jesus didn't live in a bamboo grove. <laughs> uh, yet, <clears throat> you know, this is obviously the virgin and, and, and the child. Here's a crucifixion scene. Here's a couple of interesting ones of the Last Supper. Nice traditional Chinese meal. Uh, and the resurrection with the samurai, or not samurai, but Chinese uh, warriors in, 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 taking the place of Roman ones. Here's an Ethiopian uh, depiction of Christ. And of course he's an African. This is uh, King Lalibela, who had a vision of Christ in heaven and uh, was told by Christ to um, <clears throat> build the great rock-cut churches in, of Lalibela. Here's a, a European Christ, but with darker skin. Lighter-skinned Christs, of course, are, are common in, in the West. But it leads to the question, what, what color was Christ's skin? I mean, I assume he wasn't blonde, and yet we're, we often depict him that way. Because, you know, most Middle Easterners kind of tend to be olive skin, black hair, and so forth. Here's a Muslim Jesus. The Muslims venerate Jesus as a prophet and believe in his ascent into heaven. So here he looks just like Muhammad and he's ascending into heaven with the angels. Here's a depiction of Christ from India. Is he the Buddha or is he Jesus? So, different cultures all tend to represent Jesus in their own image. And this is, I think, in part simply because we want to, you know, personally, spiritually identify with all the stories and the events in, in Christ's life. Historically speaking, it raises a question, which is more anachronistic? Uh, a Christ who is a European with white skin, surrounded by knights in medieval armor? This is a, one of the depictions here from, from the exhibit. Uh, which crucifixions most realistic? Uh, Japanese or Chinese? Renaissance? European Christ? Chinese Christ? Is one more or less realistic than the other? The art is not necessarily intending to depict what we often think it depicts. I mean, it's, it's intending to convey a spiritual message rather than a historical reality, but nonetheless, very interesting. Now, We've shown you some, uh, some, a very strong traditional iconography of Christ. We've also shown you how different cultures have, have different traditional iconographies.